class is in session. Welcome to training, my young nerdlings. I just want to let you know that today, you've made the best decision of your entire life by being here today. Today, we'll be discussing who we are, what we believe, and what we do. Wait, are we going to practice from the banner? The battle? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Before we can even discuss game day, I've got to get your mind thinking on a higher level of consciousness. Then you'll be ready for game day. Man, please, I always make A's, never one, and B. Right, because if you had it, you wouldn't be here, would you? So then tell me, Mr. Straight A student, who said I think, therefore I am? <laughs> Anna. Please. Plateau. Plateau, my goodness. <laughs> Blakely, would you please enlighten this confused young brother? Of course. As Kant would say, laughter is an affection arising from a sudden transformation of a strained expectation into nothing. So the answer to your question is Rene Descartes. Mm. Now that's correct. Now I have another question. And this one is an easy one. So don't disappoint me. Who created the law of motion? <laughs> Please. Um, California Swank District. California Swank <laughs> District? What are we? Uh, you know the guys who teach people how to dunk <laughs> <laughs> No, Urkel, obviously, the correct answer is Albert Einstein. <laughs> obviously. Thank you, Skyler. So, moving along. As professors, you are required to attend all classes, maintain a 4.0 GPA, and be involved in two extracurricular activities. Understood? We are avid supporters of stem cell research, and we only support organizations that help in the and aid in the, in the betterment of our society. Good? Now, as you can see, beneath your seats, you've been given white t-shirts. This represents a new start into growth, personal development, self-actualization, and higher learning. Now, I leave you with this, ladies and gentlemen. Knowledge is power. There is no God, but if there was, his name would be reason. So, Use it wisely. Class dismissed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the good life. Your job is to look good and feel good. But you don't have to be good. <laughs> hey, from Vegas, Straight to you, welcome to Sin City. <laughs> Plainly put, we set the standard. We're the mark that everyone is trying to meet. <laughs> and we can break the rules because we make the rules. <laughs> and if you want to be a part of the MA, you need to work out every day. <laughs> if you don't have a gym membership, get one. That's right. And ladies, you need to keep it tight. <laughs> Listen, there is no such thing as a bad hair day. So if your hair looks busted, <laughs> you stay home. I need you all to make an appointment by the end of the day, ladies. Here you go. Oh, yes, and there's no cellulite. So if you see it or feel it coming on, you better be giving Jenny a call. And that's 1-800-JENNY-20. Hey, don't laugh. Fellas, same for you. <laughs> Clean cut and good hygiene. Peace out. Vegas. Hmm. Why is that girl here? Mm, okay, okay. I know she doesn't look the part. Okay, but I, I think I can make her over. She's really talented. Yeah? I don't know. I think okay, Drew, we should dismiss her. Okay, why don't you worry about the fellas and let me focus on the ladies? Okay. Hey, well. trust me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. You take off your glasses for me. I'm gonna need you to get contacts, okay? Okay. Uh, take down your hair. What did 
I tell you? Vegas knows, baby. Vegas knows. Okay. Okay. All right. You got me. Well, wait a minute. What happened to that last girl we saw last night? Oh, no. She is not on our level. I, I don't know. She seemed pretty hot. Excuse me? Oh, uh, wait. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, her flow was hot. Her flow was hot. Okay. Well, I'm late for my nail appointment, so I'll holler at you later. Guys, I'll see you at Pizza Land tonight. Remember, ladies, that's salads only. You guys are dismissed. Welcome to the Monarchs. We have created a little fashion show for you in order to demonstrate how to be modest and pleasing to the Lord. Remember, folks, modest is hottest and holy. For without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Now, Daphne, and Daphne will be passing out holiness manuals for your convenience. But before, let us open up with the word of prayer. Everyone bow your heads, please. Bow them. Lord, we love you. You are so awesome. Thank you for giving us warm fuzzies of your presence. Yes, God. Yes. We are so grateful that you have chosen us to bring the truth, to bring the truth of your word to these sinful people. Oh, God, help us make them clean. Amen. Now, now that we have washed ourselves in prayer. All right, ladies and gents, on with the show. This section is called Don't You Dare Wear. Our first model is wearing a tacky miniskirt, tank top, and heels. What's wrong with this picture, you might ask? What is wrong with this picture? Keyword is mini. Ladies, tank tops will be two fingers or more. And sweetie, those three-year-old Jessica knockoff Simpson heels are definitely out of season. You must be ready. Oh, Daddy, 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 Oh, you are so cute. I'm a real cute. She is so cute. Moving along. Gentlemen, I have not forgotten about you. <coughs> right? Don't you dare wear your pants below your derriere. If it's the Lord you aim to please, do away with those tall tees. Your body is a living temple. If you want to sing of his praises, take out those gauges. If it's a life of holiness one pursues, you should never have any tattoos. And please, do away with those dirty shoes. And why, and would, why would we say these things? There are those Christian hippies that say, come as you are. They are only interested in inner beauty. But cleanliness is godliness, people. And we must aspire to be perfection, portraits of God's perfections. I agree. Now, does anybody have any questions? If you lack wisdom, oh, which I know you all do, <laughs> please ask. Do you? Doesn't the Bible say that God looks at the heart and man looks at the outer appearance? <laughs> no. Only ugly Christians say that. <laughs> In closing, many are called, but few are chosen. <laughs> And you have been chosen for such a time as this to defend your faith against the heathens. So sign up for our sign-making party on Friday in preparation for our weekly anti-abortion rallies yes. and our outreach to the heathens on Saturday at 1 a.m. at the Center of Simple Activities to remind the heathens to turn or burn. Bring your megaphones. <laughs> and what the Lord tells in secret. Shout out from the mountaintops for a living by the word, people. I don't have a megaphone. <laughs> Get one. And if your right hand offends you, uh, cut it off. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Would you jump out of an airplane with no parachute? Would you? No. Well, my friends, the information we have given you is your parachute. While everyone is plunging to hell, you, my friend, have just been saved. But please, thank me later. God was not loud. He was quiet. <clears throat> Daphne. Daphne. Yes. Let's talk. So, I don't know. I just feel like I, I just know. don't understand. I know. Jessica, yes, what? how may I help you, my I really can't.
I'm not a... Um, Tam! Hey. <laughs> Let me speak to you for a second. Um, hand check. Uh, thanks. My bad, my bad. Wait. <laughs> Why are you in such a rush? Because I have a meeting to go to. Me meeting? Wait, yes. speaking of meetings, why aren't you at ours? Because I'm in the furnace. You Listen, sweetheart. Oh my God, here you go. I don't think you understand the opportunity that I'm trying to extend to you. So let me go ahead and help you out. <laughs> OK. We run this school. As a matter of fact, we run this city. Oh. Ballers. We got the money the talent, and the influence. And I'm sure you all go ahead and dispute these good looks. <laughs> you know what, Drew? I really appreciate it. I know you're trying to help me out, but I'm honestly but, not but, interested. Not interested? No. But not even in me? No, but you know, you know what? Good luck to you and everything, because I know you gonna need it. Oh. Hold on. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness, I'm so Jesus? sorry. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. I'm knocking down stuff. Uh, Phil, right? Yeah, that's right. Hi, I'm Tam. Yeah, I know. You know. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um, so I heard you went to you went to Lincoln High, was it? Yeah, I went to Lincoln, yeah, I went there back okay, then. Okay, because you know, I went to Brockman High. So do okay. you by chance know Coach Parker? Lord, please let him say yes, man. Yo, that's crazy. Uh, coach Parker? Yo, he used to coach me and Pop Warner back then. Oh, he did? That's my dude right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, I heard you were pretty good on the field. Oh, uh, you know, I try. Oh, okay. Modest, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, as long as you don't play cool on the field, we good. Oh, uh, no. You know, I get it in on the field. Okay, I see you. <laughs> so, so where are you headed? Uh, I'm just getting ready to finish this workout, get with some of the boys in a moment. Okay, because, you know, I, I thought maybe you'd want to come to the furnace. I don't know what you're doing, but, you know. Uh, li li you know. Wait, no uh, pressure, Phil. No okay, pressure. Okay. I just thought you'd get along well with my cousin Jules. You know, she's pretty tight. Well, uh, maybe next we'll, we'll check it out. You said it's the furnace, right? The furnace, yeah. All right, we'll look at that. Okay, well, it was nice talking to you. All right, you too. You have a good day. You too. Right. My bad, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, gracious God, I come to you because Phil is so fine. <laughs> it's like, he is like, oh, he's like the rock, the dog edition. <laughs> he got that Colgate smile that drive all the ladies wild. <laughs> Woo! Yes, Lord. Lord, oh, you know I'm trying to act right. Woo! Yes, Lord. Tim. G Tim, who are you talking to? Jesus. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what's going on. But can you please tell me about that flyer from yesterday? Because, yeah, you got some explaining to do, because. What, what, what flyer? The, the furnace. The, <laughs> the, the furnace, Tim. What's up with the furnace? Okay, about that. About um, that, yeah. Listen, yeah. I know what you're thinking right now. I just need you to take a deep breath, okay? Because I thought, you know, especially after the cipher that, you know, I don't know. We should start our own group, and you should help spearhead it with me. And I know what you're thinking. Tam, you're crazy. Yeah. You're stupid. No. But it's okay. Okay. Because you remember last year when you were praying to Jesus, and I was with you praying? Yes. And you said, yeah. Jesus, please use me. And so now he brought us to this school, and I feel like there's a lot of ministry that needs to be done here. And we can be the leaders to help this generation at this school. So I believe God's waiting for an answer. So what do you say, Jules? <sighs> All right. That's a yes? Me. Is that that's, a yes? That's a yes. Oh my God, yes. thank you, Jesus. That's Guess good. what? Yes. The meeting starts now. What? Let's go. Oh. Hey, everybody. Whoa. Hey, Ryan. Hey. Hey. Matthew, right? Hey, everybody. OK. Sam, right? Yeah, hey, everybody. I'm Tam. I'm Jules. Hey, how are you doing? Nice Newbie, OK. You. Hey, everybody. I'm Tam. And this is my cousin, Jules. And we just want to welcome all of you to The Furnace. The Furnace is a discipleship group, and the disciple is someone who knows and follows Jesus. So follow us as we follow Christ. Hey guys, I'm Jules, and uh, I guess I just want to share my heart with you.
You see, there's so many things in this life that are literally pulling for our attention and our allegiance. It's like the world comes against our minds and bombards us and tells us, hey, this is who you are, and this is what you should believe in, and this is what you should look like, and this is who you should be and what you should do. But you know what? My pastor said something that was so profound. One of the most important things in your life is your belief system. Right. What you believe about God and what you believe about yourself. Hey, so what are we gonna do on game day? I mean, what's your wait, name? Nicole, y'all was so cool, hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, like, hey, damn. Hey, hey, Jules, hey, 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 hey. I know you're excited. I am right. too. But could you please let Jules finish speaking? I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. I know you are. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, look, how about we start it like this? Okay, I have a question for you guys. Who are you? Oh, Fine. Oh, you, you see me? I better work. Yes. 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 I'm yes. an artist and a singer. Yeah, you are all those things. But can I ask you guys this question? Is it possible for you to know who you are without first knowing who God is? Because guess what? We were made, we were created and formed in his image and his likeness. And Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the light. So without him, our knowledge is incomplete. She did not. She, just, she did not she just, walk just walk out on Jules oh. like that. Oh, Lord Jesus. Rude. Rude. It's all right, Jules. You're going to be all right. Uh, yeah. So, you know, guys, I don't want our focus just to be on game day, but I really want it to be on us developing who we are in Christ so that our lives can be a light for the world to see. Are we not doing anything for game day then? Wait, we are absolutely doing something on game right. day. Isn't that right, Jules? You're right. We're going to do something. Because why? Because we the Bible says we are the salt and the light. Hey. And we're going to shine, baby, shine. Shine, Jesus. So, yeah, we're going to shine for Jesus. And, you guys, this is the beginning of a, a walk with God and a deeper relationship with him. And I'm so excited for this opportunity to come. It's just awesome. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming here and being with us at the furnace. It's just, it's just awesome. Yeah, we we are excited for everything. Yeah. Is that is that? Wait, is that Coach Parker? You better stop playing. Co Coach Parker? What's up? Oh my God! Oh my God! Group hug. Hey, oh. what's up? Just chilling. Oh, okay. Figured I'd come out here uh, and, and do some things. I got I got yeah. some recruits that I'm looking at. Okay. But it's good to see yeah, good to see you too. Wait, everybody, I don't want to be rude. This is Coach Parker. Guys. Coach Parker! Oh, this is the furnace. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't really know what we're getting into. Honestly, I just got thrown into this two seconds ago. So oh. how about you share something with, with the group? Really? Yeah. What? With the group. Really? Yeah. C could you oh. could you talk? I, mean, I was I was just gonna uh, Yeah. D I was just you. trying to me. Yeah. You. Me. Now. Sure. Yeah. Like right now. Right now. Uh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> awesome.